Good morning, and welcome to episode 1192 of Hard Factor. It is Thursday, April 20th, 2023. Some folks call that 420. Thank you for cheating on the news with us once again. I've got all the presidential candidate news you need to know heading into the primary season, uh, you know, this summer and fall. Rachel mm. McS- McAdams' armpit hair. Oh. And, of course, and of course, UFOs on this 420 edition of the Cup of Coffee. The big time. Rachel yeah. McAdams, come on. I, she's so, so hot. Just just shave it or you know, cover Wait, it which up. Which one is she? She's uh, the notebook. She's the notebook. Not, she's so hot. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just so much hair. We'll get to it. It's so, so much, much hair. hair. You it's haven't seen so the much hair. Oh, my goodness. No, I have not. Wes is going to hate well, it. I, Wes is in for yeah. some. Well, we'll see. We'll see what his reaction is. Oh, Mark yeah, I know Scott, he's going to hate it. You know he's going to hate it? <laughs> Sounds like I'm going to hate it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get into it. Mark's got an international moment on deck. That's right. A couple, couple interesting stories that we're going to need a passport for. So. A not TikTok international moment. No, no. Even though we're at 10K on our alt account, you know, it's going, they're going to break follow our hearts us. again. Follow yeah, us follow at us. not oh, hard not, factor, right? Yeah, yeah. At, it's at not hard factor news or, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. And then we're not banned at 75K and not, and it's got a Will's Fu Manchu, Will, Will's facial hair, Groucho Marx style. We're disguised. The, the, they don't know who we are. <laughs> they don't know who we are this time. Right. Surely they won't trash our account this time right uh, and wes has another cultural highlight story on new zealand that he loves to shed a, shed a light on the kiwis and what they're doing down there um and also yeah. a new those fat fucks around. are up to yep yeah I, yep I, well, was it an earthquake south cost yeah. earthquake i didn't know you wanted to jump into it that quick but yep that's what that's the beat he's was on an ice cream story yeah <laughs> <laughs> hey this shirt that i'm wearing right now made by hawaiians <clears throat> And you can nice. tell they know what a big man needs. Like they yeah, cut this shirt. You got to buy your shirts made by Polynesians if you're a big guy. Oh, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. Uh, and uh, Wes also has a new Florida law that pedophiles are absolutely going to hate. Yeah, they are really going to hate it. But Tough it's, it's fantastic. And every state should do this. I almost nice. said listen. I almost said listen up at the one of our listeners' first and last names. No, that's a joke. But, oh, but, but, <laughs> but uh, if he listens with his boss, it would really have wrecked him. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you just have to assume it was you, Florida listeners, that we know your names. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, you just yeah. have to think it's all of you. Okay. Uh, don't forget, we're back on the YouTube page. YouTube.com slash Hard Factor News main channel. We were on highlights last week because of the nipple slip. We're back. So come through. Subscribe. Also, uh, ring the bell. When you get onto our uh, our profile, when you subscribe, ring the bell. Click the bell on our channel and then turn all notifications on so you know when we go live for the tapings of the pod, yeah. other content that we'll do live, blah, blah, blah. Thank Bad you. for Navy SEAL training. Good for subscribing to Heart Factor and knowing when the shows will be out. Ring the bell. Right. That's exactly that's right. how you get kicked out of the SEALs. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. In this case an excellent thing yeah. but it's not Navy not dream knowledge, crushing yeah. like like that. well gi jane you know yeah. but we uh, it always comes back to gi jane on the show <laughs> you know i've never seen that really yeah it's a good movie i'm watching so the line of fire they, in, they, in the line of fire tonight so well we talked about that in the have out in the line of fire is great but they i mean they really try to get demi Moore to ring the bell that's like their mission in that movie yeah to ring her bell oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. they're really yeah. trying hard I mean, her pussy's so, so good. Bell. Her pussy's so good, it'll make you have dementia 20 years later. Yeah. You won't remember. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It erases your yeah. fucking memory. That that pussy will give you dementia. <laughs> it'll give you dementia, dude. dude. <laughs> she is hot in G.I. Jane, though, for real. Like, even though she's hot got, everything. like, the, sh- the short hair, it's yeah. still, she's, still, she's still looking good. Yeah, she's still is. looking good. That's right. So good. All right. Uh, yeah. So thanks for uh, thanks for already subscribing and doing the notifications on YouTube. Anything else, guys, before we get into the news? No, no sir. No. Okay. 
Well, then, cup of coffee in the big time is up first. Yeah, cup of coffee in the big time. All the top trending news stories you need to know, uh, at least at the time of taping this podcast. But first, a fun fact from Evan on Instagram. And uh, did you know, guys, that the tiny pearlfish uh, has a special relationship with sea cucumbers? And I'm going to pop a video up in the background here. Um, when they need shelter, it's a pearlfish there you guys are seeing, uh, they will often seek it up a sea cucumber's anus. Oh, um, whoa. And uh, this that's video. Friend. That's a friend. A real friend. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like the anus? There, that's yeah, the anus it's, opening it's up. Oh, my goodness. Right in. Oh, oh. Yeah, pops right in. Come on there. in, pal. It's a mutual. Yep. That's a benefit for both, I think. <laughs> Great. Great for yeah. both. I mean, <laughs> yeah. one's getting its anus cleaned out uh, yeah, from the inside. Yeah. Like, yeah, exactly, Ooh. Wes. Yeah, John Wayne could have used the pearl fish, you know, they say. The so, Duke. Is that what they shoot out? Because when sea cucumbers get stepped on or sque- they shoot out like jizz, is it those pearl fish? Maybe. Like, no, it's just like maybe, jizzy. Jizzy. It's so jizzy. It is. Well, if they yeah. have a pearl fish in there yeah. and they're caught. I it looks know. just like if you were to come underwater. Yeah. Like <laughs> with with like with force. Sea String cucumbers. All. Sea yeah. cucumbers are freaky, man. Ropes. So they have they have pearl fish just cleaning out their buttholes, and then they're just jizzing, jizzing all, all over, the time, all over the ocean. Yeah. yeah. So uh, that video of a pearl fish tucking inside a sea cucumber's anus while a human smacks their lips in approval, if you could hear that detail on the podcast, uh, comes via Keeper nine zero five three eight five eight three on Twitter. So. That's a really interesting fact. Yeah. Um, yeah. Coming, buddy. Yeah, those are good. That, guy, that guy's on a roll. He's that guy's got one. a tank. This guy's got a tank, and he just watches that all day. You oh, really? That's his own yeah, tank? Yeah, in a tank. Yeah, oh, wow. in a tank. Oh, man. You think there's any? That's weird. <laughs> you think there's any, like, <laughs> else Buka- doing with that Bukaki sushi, videos huh? out there where it's just a, 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 a actual woman, but a bunch of sea cucumbers getting squeezed on her? There's got to be. Yeah. Has to be. Yeah. Yeah. For sure, because it's such a sexual animal. She's like in, she's like scuba diving or something. Just I think squeezing so. a bunch of su- su- cucumbers on her. You could Google it, but I'm not yeah. going to because that's no. that'll get you. Colin that'll, will do it for us. That'll get you in an algorithm. Incognito tab VPN for that yeah. one because uh, that's 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 going to be freaky when you find it. Okay, uh, and uh, the first trending news story we got to talk about today: we have fellas a Democratic challenger to Joe Biden in the 2024 presidential election. Is it Father and, Time? It, well, that's one of his challengers. We have a third challenger, technically. He already had one because uh, Wolf Mother Marianne Williamson had already announced. Uh, but this time, it's a Kennedy. And oh. you know, I thought I thought John Stewart uh, would hop in there, but no, it's RFK Jr. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. who's tossing okay. his hat in the ring on the Democratic side against the oldest incumbent president of all time seeking re-election, Joe Biden. So. I thought um, you were going to say John F. Kennedy Jr. because he's alive and the and the Q people were right. Oh, he, oh that would have been so much cooler. My yeah. Opportunity missed on the joke there. Thank you, yeah. Mark, though, for pointing that out. Uh, it would have been cooler if JFK Jr. was back from the dead uh, to, to, to run a zombie campaign. But no, it, here's a clip from RFK Jr.'s announcement rally. This is what this is what happens when you censor somebody for 18 years. He's what is going on with his voice? I got a lot to talk about. Please, please. They shouldn't have shut me up that long. Because now I'm going to really let loose on them for the next 18 months. They're going to hear a lot from me. Oh, a lot yes. of that voice. Yeah. No. You're done, buddy. <laughs> How many cigarettes was he smoking in the last 18 years? I don't All know. I think, he, I think he's got some kind of condition. So I'm not sure what, oh, what, no. what his voice and modulation yeah, thing is. Annoying voice condition. From me in the next 18 <laughs> months. <laughs> he always talks like that, though. If what you ever the hear fuck? him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So so he's got to overcome that, Mark. And Wes, yeah. you guys point out something I mean, very for me, obvious. That's a, for me, that's a huge... I know it's superficial, I guess, but that's a huge hurdle for me. <laughs> no, that's you a can't definite do, no. <laughs> you can't, can't, you do, can't do like a King's speech moment? Like no. where he like... Yeah, trains, he's the stutters, have, yeah. Yeah, to have a speech that's perfect. Um, well, anyways, he, he's putting his, his name in the ring there for a Democratic side. 69-year-old environmental lawyer and author. He is the son of Robert F. Kennedy. Um a uh, nephew of John F. Kennedy, and, and now hated by most of his fellow Democrats uh, for being anti-COVID lockdowns, 
and anti mRNA vaccine rollout during COVID. So, oh, wow, yeah. um, I yeah, I thought he'd be running as an independent given all right, that, right, right. Uh, but it's an interesting option for like disaffected Democrats who don't want to go Republican. I guess it also sounds like he's that's not an option. Let's be honest. Yeah, I, I mean, is Marianne Williamson? She's the only no, other contender. She's not so an option far. either. But there'll be yeah. a, there'll be at least one other person that's halfway decent. Hopefully, it almost sounds like Maybe. he also is running his campaign to talk shit about the DNC. If I was reading between the lines, oh for, for sure. He, for when sure. he's like, they were trying to shut me up for eighteen years. He's talking about the Democrats. I think, even though he's running as a Democrat. Right. right. He does. I don't think he likes so the party like, yeah. uh, that his father or that his his father and his uncle uh, got got murdered while working for very right. much. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. But he's running for them for president. Uh, <laughs> like I said, I'll get Marianne. them from the inside. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's rough. The same way. It's a rough voice. His, his voice is hard to overcome. Uh, but if you listen to him like he he we'll see what he does in the debate. It'll be interesting to see because he does make points. So like he's a good like a uh, speaker in terms of making points. So we'll see if like, if he could possibly just, or if so, there even is a debate because I'm, Biden might, I'm be sure he's got some interesting over. things to talk about and he's got a cool last name. So Kennedy, that's true. Yeah. Democrat incumbent though. I'm not sure if we'll see a Democrat debate because he might not have to, uh, many expect governor of California, Gavin Newsom to also announce on the Democrat side, since California is doing so great these days. Um, yeah. and of course, uh, <laughs> you should, you deserve a promotion, bud. Now's Read the time. The room. Yeah. <laughs> Unreal. Look what I can do for everyone. <laughs> It's like the Titanic yeah. captain applying for a fucking <laughs> ship job. <laughs> oh man! Oh god! So, no. of course, Kamala Harris, uh, Hillary, Mayor Pete, Bernie, uh, Chief Liz Warren, uh, or AOC could announce as well. But the odds on them announcing is very, very slim. On the Republican side, of course, you have Donald Trump. Uh, you know who misses the abuses of power in the Oval Office like he misses failing, Stormy Daniels. Uh, failing yeah. to have heard a good candidate yet. On either well, side. Well, sure. Okay. But there's Donald Trump who misses his abuses of power in the Oval Office. Like he misses Stormy Daniels' giant boobs when he right. watches uh, Desert Stormy on Blu ray after Melania goes to bed. He really wants that Oval Office oh. power back. She was you driving know. those fucking guys crazy in Desert yeah, Stormy. Yeah, she was. <laughs> Desert Stormy. Yeah, yeah she was. That's a Blu ray, uh, too. He, he misses it all. He misses, he misses Stormy. He misses the cans. He misses. All of the deals he could make from the White House. Um, Remember when saying Blu about people who porn was like seventy dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Blu-ray days. Yeah, vivid. Yeah. You had to buy the the original DVD. Holy shit, they were expensive. Yeah, Stormy was making money back then, uh, she, and you know she's making a few, a little bit now in the merch sales. But uh, the saying about people who shouldn't be president, you know, the ones who want it the most, right? I think applies really well to the last two presidents. So I'm rooting for anybody other than those two guys um and of course the other republican contenders you have uh is former south carolina governor and u.n ambassador nikki haley who's probably uh like got the biggest splash announcement so far mm -hmm. besides trump on the republican side former arkansas governor asa hutchinson and venture capitalist and author um vivek rem swap when rem swami also announced and so did south carolina senator tim scott so they're mm -hmm. also on the republican side Haley seems to have gotten by far the most attention so far. Florida yeah. Governor Ron DeSantis and former Veep Mike Pence are also expected to run. Oh wow! Um, if both of those guys run. That'll be that'll be good. There could be some good debates. Last go around, there were some. The Democrat debates were pretty interesting. If they get like a dais of a bunch of guys and girls running for the Republicans, that could be interesting debates. It was good. I was listening. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I, I was listening debate. to the it's a fun fun time to Fox this morning and um. They do this thing where they go around like they like do like a breakfast with friends or whatever, and they just pick like a small town. This one was in Oklahoma, and they just go around and ask everyone who they're voting for. I mean, ninety percent of them said Trump. Um, I know that's just a small. <laughs> it's a small fucking, you know. Yeah, no, uh, no, 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 Wes, you're you're onto something, Wes. The odds makers. I was just about to get to that because that's what's really important here. The odds makers are saying that it's looking more and more like my personal nightmare, as <laughs> predicted, that I thought would happen. Trump versus Biden 2.0 is more likely every single day. That's what the how, odds makers. How are is that even possible? So, that's what I they're know. saying. That's that's a shame. That's what they are saying.
So uh, Eric, uh, producer Eric says, according to ABC News, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. suffers from spasmodic dysphonia. A oh, he's got a disorder that I'm making fun of. Involuntary <laughs> movement disorder called dystonia that affects only the voice box. This is not a life. I'm sorry. Illness. It certainly affects one's quality of life and the sound of their voice. Look, well, you, can't, a, you, can't, you yeah. can't just come out of the woods and say, I've got a lot to say and you're gonna listen to me like that was the that was my problem <laughs> you think he should, should he use a robot like a like a like a droid that communicates yeah. for him he yeah. like types now into I feel an bad. style now i feel bad i thought he just smoked a lot of cigarettes or something i didn't know i feel bad no, he should know better not the one for president I he had a that cold voice. yeah <laughs> <laughs> my bad oh no no he always talks like that you'd have yeah, you'd have to bad. listen you have to listen to some of his other stuff um yeah, so let's move on though to to lighter news, right? Than uh, the definite Trump versus Biden two point oh that we're staring staring down the pipe. Uh, to lighter news, but still a hairy situation, guys. Um, it's Rachel McAdams' armpits. It's so hairy. Look at the, there they are. Dude, you can oh, see it from there. No. Zoom in on that bad boy. The, oh, I've got it later. I've got it oh, later. These God. puppies are hairy. She did a photo shoot in Bustle magazine, uh, and you heard Is that Wes Dylan Mulvaney. Reaction. Not nope, Rachel McAdams. Is that Rachel McAdams. Dylan Mulvaney? <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Yeah, Rachel Come McAdams. On, Rachel. Come on. So you know, anyway, she did this photo shoot in Bustle Magazine where she demanded that they not Photoshop shop out her hairy armpits, um, and it drove the internet wild. Lots of people saying it's gross. Uh, I got one comment here on Twitter: Miss Patriot, she can't stand it. She tweets. More like Rachel McArmpits. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. That is pretty good. <laughs> There's the close up. Miss Patriot yes. nailed her. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Not great. I mean, it's yeah, so she, hairy. Miss Patriot memed it and everything uh, with some close ups there. Uh, Rachel McArmpits. She McAdams, a lesbian? Though. No, no, I don't think so. She's she got a family. What the hell is she, she doing? Got kids, she got kids. She got lazy. She got kids. Yeah. yeah. She, she's, she's still smoking hot. She, she looks, she's looks, so hot. hot. Well, she, she, did her, she, did her, she did her makeup and shit, to, or is she just that yes, pretty? Dude, she still yeah. looks hot, man. Oh, she's she's so I mean, the camera. Okay. She's, dude, she still looks good. At 44, she looks incredible. She talks about working less to try to be a good mom in the interview. Also, her hatred of shaving. So she just fucking hates to shave. He's talking about I don't I, I I totally get that it's annoying it's got to be annoying to all the shit women have to do yeah get the get it get it completely lazy so would you lazy. guys the, the, well the real question is what this brings up because it's Rachel McAdams and everybody agrees she she's hot, pretty hot right I still and so do like her, of course yes right so would it stop you or any girl that you no. were into if you saw a little bush under her armpit I would you got if, it if it was Rachel bed. McAdams I would I would have my nose in her armpit just motivating. <laughs> What about somebody else that you were? Yeah, just it would stop me. If, it would stop me from, from uh, certain others for sure. If if I was saying it would be it would if, it, it, it would stop you in your tracks like in in my single like, days. What oh, what's that? that? I was picking up chick, chick at a bar or something like that, and I saw that I would probably move on. Yeah, right. You wouldn't try to pick her up anymore. No, right. Is that a mouse under your arm? Yeah. Uh, what do you yeah, have no, in a tent? I, West, your, what would you? Say? I mean, like you. What's just your like, crotch look like if yeah. that's the? Oh yeah. Oh my god. That's the thing, Mark. Is yeah. what does your crotch look like? I mean, if it if your pit looks like that, what is going on down? You guys, the, the hair really bothers you, huh? Yeah. I mean, it does. I don't really care either way, but it's like, like a, a Venus right, flytrap, like a I character mean, from Star Wars, like a Wookie, <laughs> Ewok, or whatever. It's too hairy. You have, to have some personality. <laughs> Uh, I mean, Rachel McAdams had a pile of cash, so mm -hmm. that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, okay, uh, a few sad but very huge uh, stories real quick that we have to mention. Meta has started their second round of layoffs that will leave a total of over 20,000 unemployed. Good luck to those trying to hold on to their jobs. It's engineers this time. My brother-in-law made it. Oh, yes, nice, dude. We yeah. have OS's brother-in-law. Nice. nice. Um, uh, sadly, uh, Moonbin... Uh, this guy right here, he's a star member of K-pop group Astro, or was. He he's has got died of, bats? Su of suicide. Oh, oh no, I'm on a roll bad. today. I, I, I've been making yeah. fun of disorders. I was, I was saying he has a few bats in his cave. There's boogers in that picture. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. Dead, uh, though, so. Jesus. He's, uh, yeah, he has, uh, he's passed away of suicide, sadly. I got to give uh, it a beat. Those are boogers, aren't they? <laughs> those are huge boogers. Look at that. They are. Well, I noticed it, too, but I was I thought it was just something. <laughs> he just. What's going on with that guy? I don't know. Well, what that is. It died of suicide, so who cares? Yeah. 
Oh, man, because uh, his booger picture got out. Probably had dysmorphia and morphia <laughs> voice thing or whatever that I'm making fun of. That's sad. I mean, it's sad. He died of suicide. Too young. It is. Yeah. Well, this, 25, this so. was happening a lot. This is just, I mean, remember, this was like a epidemic with these K-pop stars for like a while. We yeah, covered it like last year, a couple of years ago. They're under so much pressure. Yeah. yeah. they're. I mean, yeah. And so I guess it's maybe starting back up again or they're just now covering more of it again. But this is too much been, pressure, been an I epidemic guess. with K-pop stars. Yeah. Wow. Moonbin, the latest in that one. But uh, fellow childhood star Sean Weiss, also known as lovable goalie, goaltender in hockey, sorry, uh, Goldberg on the Mighty Ducks. Uh, he has been, great news, sober for three years since that Whoa. insanely bad mugshot he oh got went viral. Oh, my God. Yeah, look how homeless he is. In the that bed. was Goldberg? Holy <laughs> that, So Goldberg, that's child Goldberg <laughs> in the Mighty Ducks oh. on the left. That was Goldberg at the peak of his addiction problem. I think a lot of meth, if you look at oh, him, yeah. right? That's and then got to be the booze. peak. That's yeah. got to be the peak. No, well, he, he says he's been sober was for three years. So yeah, well, I mean, it's, I'm just well, that's it was sober a, it was off kid. of it meth. It was all yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's yeah. He's, he's good for him. Though. I mean, he was yeah. on the he was on death's door. Yeah, yeah he could, was. You, I can't believe he recovered from that middle picture. Well, w- well, what's funny is he he said that the the picture going viral is kind of what made him like sober up like man you know like it was rock bottom seeing that oh picture. yeah like he got like he got a fucking screen near him mm-hmm. what is this i think somebody put it in his face probably yeah. like he's like hi as fucking his dealers like look at this dude <laughs> yeah, dude they're that's they're funny. dragging you on the internet goldberg <laughs> yes anyways good for sean weiss he's yeah very good three years that's i mean that makes the macaulay cock and heroin picture look like child's play Oh, yeah, this is a way bigger. This is the biggest turnaround possible. Nobody yeah. could possibly do a bigger turnaround than Sean Weiss in terms That's of impressive. Yeah. That guy's yeah. dead in a year, nine times out of ten, that middle picture. And now he just looks like yeah. grown up Goldberg. Yeah. Right. I didn't think yeah. he could come back. I didn't think his face would come back so normally. Dude, he got yeah. new. He got new teeth in the whole nine, man. He yeah. looks good on the right. Yeah. Great. yeah. Way to go, Goldberg. Uh Which brings us to more good news in the cream of the crop. Like I said at the top, guys, it's 420. All right. And, uh, you know, if you're like me, uh, you like to like maybe like, you know, look at space pictures or watch UFO videos if you enjoy the celebrating the 420 holiday. And so, of course, I have two fresh and trending UFO videos for us to dissect on this episode. First up is from pilot Jorge A. Ortega in Colombia. He claims uh, that this video that he got is a real clip of a UFO that he saw hovering between Medellin and Santa Fe, Colombia on May 12th, 2022. And so I'm going to play it for you guys in the background. He doesn't say anything, but he, but here. And so this is over okay. Antioquia. Oh yeah, I thought a, I thought a chick, Columbia. I thought a model, Brazilian yeah, model, model. I thought a Brazilian model. model she may have been in the plane, but okay. the pilot is Jorge Ortega. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, it was yeah. this was the model that I sent the other day. Yep. This, yep. This, yeah. Yep. Oh, right. Man, look, look at that thing. That's cool. Uh, it he, it looks got it's a great video. They got the video. Yeah, they got the video out of a uh, a T three hundred three uh, Cessna at twelve thousand five hundred feet. And it looks incredible if it's real, but I mean, so many people on the internet are saying it's fake. A lot of graphic designers claim it's even a weak attempt uh, oh. to make a real video because it's so blurry in the background and then becomes so mm. sharp in the foreground. And also, um, why was why would she just be filming the sky? She couldn't have got her phone out that quick. Well, also, why it's, is the spaceship right, so, two feet? It's a yeah, it's tiny. It would be very tiny aliens. A or lot man. Right. Look, all I'm saying is I'd love for it to be real. There's a lot of people out there that seem to to know what they're talking about about graphic design, saying like that that's pretty much bullshit. So UFO videos they they become could so be the FBI saying that yeah. exactly. Well, the, could the, be the, it could so be many West, fake, they woke. I, so I many agree. fake videos out there. So many digitally altered videos. So many fake videos that it's yep. like the boy who cried wolf. You'll just never really know which one's real. That's like they've they've muddied the water so much. Yeah, yeah. technology is too good now. Yeah, it's like that's right. That's right. I agree, guys. You never really know what's real or not. So because of that, why don't you check out this real one? Uh, from the federal Mm -hmm. government. Uh, This is a video released by the AARO, which is the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, during their Senate hearing on Wednesday of this 
week. And uh, this sounds, video was sounds clandestine. <laughs> yeah, right. The, uh, the all domain anomaly. Uh, resol- did, the, did the AI write that? The sentient yeah, AI was, write, wrote was that from the yeah. book 1984. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this video was taken by an MQ-9 Reaper drone, presumably somewhere in the Middle East. You'll see why I say that when you see the video um, near a base, because that's what looks like in the, is in the background. They don't know what the object is in the video. Uh, this object was also identified as one of the most common objects uh, they encountered, I guess, near bases in the Middle East. There are no indications as to what the object could be that the government is saying. So check this out. Green, there it goes, and see then it. the camera will slew to follow it. It'll come back You'll into see frame. It pop in and out bottom. of the sc- field of view. There. This is essentially oh, yeah. all of the data we have associated with this event from some years between the Earth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Between the Earth and the drone. Yep. And so I'll play it again on silent for you guys. It starts in the middle. See so it go past. Yeah, there the it goes. Thing. Yeah, just mm-hmm. okay. Past, and yeah. the drone starts following it and so tracking. Like bottom it. right, bottom right. Yeah, yeah, bottom right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so, so this thing is what we're watching is a Reaper yeah. drone looking down at the Earth, and there is a floating orb somewhere between the Reaper drone and the the face, the crest it's like of the a Earth. Silver marble just floating through the sky. Looks like it's the similar yep. size to the one in the other video. Right or that picture from the from Mazel, that picture yeah. that that came out um, from Iraq, uh, yeah. I mean, how high but, up in the air is that is that thing though? Not didn't very high. high. Yeah, it didn't look that high. Yeah, no, I don't think so. It's 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 like hovering right above buildings and stuff between yeah. the drone and the building. So, yeah, I mean, like this could also be fake, right? Like Wes pointed out, like the the government, who knows, like what their angle is on in terms of in terms of like managing UFO information. Uh, maybe th- these these drones could be man made. The little spheres, and we're just like not saying it. We got to say. How with many a- more years are we gonna go through where it, like nothing happens with any of these fucking UFOs? And yeah. the government says this is a UFO. This wasn't a UFO. How many more years do we have to go through before something crazy happens with one of these fucking things? That's what I want to know. It's just until someone know. gets like a video of an alien on the ground, like right. undoctored. It just it's too muddy. The the AI is too right. good. The text too good. The graphic design is too good. There's too many videos out there. There's too many proven to be false videos out there. It needs a lot need, of it, possibilities. It, it, it's tough. We need it's, a leap. We need a big leap. I need to get like attacked by an alien, right? You know, like or see it yourself. Yeah. Then, I mean, then you really believe like, it. Yeah, ah, I agree. Well, some of those were right. That'd be great proof, yeah. but yeah. until then, it's just yeah. something fun until to think about. By an alien, yeah, I gotta get like raped yeah. by an alien to really believe it. Yeah, mm-hmm. then you'll know. Yeah. Damn it! I think I some of those it. were right. I should have been safer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know if we'll ever know in our lifetimes, but it's great to think about, especially on 420. And that's today's cup of coffee in the big time. And speaking of grass, you know who's got the best grass around? Mm. Sunday Lawn Care has Mm. the best grass in the business. On planet Uh, Earth. And Sunday Lawn Care, that's another thing you can do uh, that's a great late April activity. Uh, I've been out enjoying my yard, breathing in the late April air. So aromatic and fresh and just... uh, Making using Sunday products that have been delivered so conveniently to my front door to just make my lawn look beautiful. And I'm gonna, I've been doing it all spring. I'm going to keep doing it all growing season long because it's fun, it's easy, and it makes your lawn look like a lush paradise just for you and then whichever of the you know several women that you're going to attract into the lawn just That's based right. on how green it is like you know? bees to flowers you're going to you're pollinating them you know so exactly fly trap that <laughs> yeah. <one. laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> It, 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 it really does the trick. Sunday, we'll get your lawn looking great. It's everything you need to get the lawn you've dreamed of. This spring, uh, go to getsunday.com slash hard factor and enter your address to get a customized plan created just for your lawn. No trips to the store hauling heavy bags since they uh, ship straight to your home, which is very convenient for like, you know, don't, don't got to go to any of the big chain stores and get those heavy, you know, jugs of, of stuff to work on the lawn. Sunday ships it straight to your door exactly how much you need because they, they see the size of your yard. You just need a hose to apply Sunday. You can fertilize your whole lawn in less than the time it takes to watch an episode of Hard Factor. Uh, and they only use ingredients so you can feel good about. No harsh chemicals, no long waiting periods, or trying to keep your kids and pets off the lawn. You just apply it, let it dry, and you're back good to go. Everything's ready to go. Sunday's easy and affordable. Some lawn care services cost more than 1500 bucks a year, but Sunday, uh, their full season plan started just $109. Um, and it's amazing. They'll give you a whole plan. It's, it's the 
they'll treat you right. They'll get your lawn looking great. And Sunday is offering our listeners 20% off. Full season plans start at just $109, and you can get 20% off when you visit GetSunday.com slash Hard Factor at checkout. That's 20% off your custom plan at GetSunday.com slash Hard Factor. Damn right. Mm -hmm. And we're back on YouTube live at the Hard Factor account. We got live comments. And uh, mm. Trenton, who's on Twitch, says uh, Hive Island is going to be is going to have the best lawn soon when we win big because Sunday is going to be uh, sponsoring the, the oh, lawns yeah. at Hive Island. Um, yeah. And we're going to win that greenest. Texas Lotto, which is at like 75 million. Probably almost. tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Probably tonight. All right. Oh. There you go. Yeah. So I thank submitted you. my money, right? Yeah, I think you're good. I did. I did today. All right. Pack your bags. It's time for the international moment. Texas is hard to stay up with. Two drawings a week. You just, you, you know. Three, my friend. Three. Three? I, no wonder I'm fucking. Oh, we, got a no, we got a notification every every two days from Wes. <laughs> no, every three. Every two days. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Every other day. We got a and it's $2. Monday, Monday, Wednesday, Wednesday Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's been going on for a while. All right. Uh, I got <laughs> Texas, dude. Texas Lotto, they, their biggest jackpot. We looked it up. They had it going 1. over point... a year. No yeah, winners. This is the biggest million. in 12 years. So, wow. Yeah. It's been, no one's won the Texas Lotto, which is like a pick, like five balls, like up to like 50. Six. Yeah. At, at no six power, but no pop power ball. Right. So it's just so six it's, straight it's numbers. Better odds, like one in 25. One in 25 million. million. No one's won it since Texas last six September. Shooter. It's been like in yeah. eight, eight months. It's getting yeah, close to year. It's ridiculous. Wow. All right, got an absolutely we'll win it tonight. Yeah, it's it's over. We're gonna win. It. <laughs> got an absolutely disgusting one for you from Wales. I'm gonna show you an image in a few minutes that might make you throw up. So put oh. down the food for a few minutes if you uh, digest this show as a video on YouTube, Spotify, or Twitch. Uh, meet. All right, Twitch now. Yeah, that's damn right. Meet sixty-four-year-old David Lindsay, a retired builder from Wales. Ah! No, I'm just kidding. That's mm. not the gross stuff. That's still to come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just looks. I mean, he just looks like a your average uh, elderly gentleman. Uh, he's mm -hmm. he looks like he's in the hospital there. That's a yeah. that's an hospital selfie. So there you go. Well, yeah, I was going to say you might be thinking that was a picture of Lindsay at the hospital. Uh, and you might be thinking, retired builder, thick boy. That dude takes dumps. Um, and yeah. it is. It is. And he does, but that's not part of the story. So don't worry. It's not going to be related to that. Um, so okay. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> um, this one's actually about Lindsay and his dog. Okay. Uh, there oh. you go. They are together. How cute, right? Oh. Can, you, can you describe the dog to our listeners? Like it's a bulldog. bulldog. Yeah. Okay. And it's and he's young. sleeping. He's sleeping on Lindsay. Yeah. And it's just the most adorable picture you've ever well, seen. Well, and Lindsay, obviously, this is a stage photograph. I mean, he's yeah. not sleeping. Right. right. And 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 he's a puppy, right? Like he's young. Yeah, he he's young. pretty young in that photograph. Yeah, so might be an American bulldog. Sure. Puppy. Maybe a mix, yeah, cuz it yeah. looks a little big for yeah. where bulldogs place. like to eat, right? And also the puppies like to, you know, they don't really know yet what what to do, what not to do sometimes, right? They don't they don't act correctly until they're trained or whatever like for example sometimes they'll uh, bite through all seven layers of skin flesh muscle and, and through your big toe into the bone and bra fracture your bone and just mangle your big toe while you're asleep uh, yeah or i mean that's drunk asleep Ooh, that's bad uh, that's a good but question Wes. It could happen. yeah uh it could happen. puppies retired, are mischievous mark they'll go for it uh and retired david Lindsay, who definitely takes huge shits also takes huge naps uh and can sleep through that apparently just <laughs> Can sleep through just about anything, including a dog gnawing. Woke up and my dog was gone. <laughs> yeah. What the hell are you doing? Almost gone. Certainly fractured, split, cracked in half, and, and all the way to the bone. Um. Holy shit. Lindsay was awoken actually not by that, but but from from his screaming wife who said ah when she saw a puddle of blood and her husband's mangled toe uh, and the dog just gnawing on an actual bone connected to a human skeleton instead so of the puppy was trying to play with them to the yeah. and wake him up to the point where it ripped his toe off and the dude still didn't Almost. wake up <laughs> you guys want to see the toe yeah death by a thousand nibbles yeah yeah oh. you guys wanna, this is it you yeah, guys want to see the toe wanna, yeah I want to see the toe <laughs> warning now it's not quite as bad as it's been described because his, his bone was fractured so this picture is gross because his feet are disgusting but uh mm -hmm. it's here you go oh Oh. oh, that dog was really good. Look at what is this? Oh, it's all blood. On. It's like his. Yeah. It's all blood underneath oh. the big nail. 
and the yeah, elephantitis yeah. on the foot. side. That's where He's he got at the, it. Yeah, he got all the way in there. Ooh, it's an ugly foot to begin with, and then you get it. <laughs> not oh, it's a Welshman's foot. There you go. That is a Welshman's foot. That's a that's a builder's foot. Yeah. Welsh not builder. on my puppy, dude. That's insane. <laughs> oh man. So it, it, look, it's how can he sleep through that? Well, let's get to it. It's a sort of a good news, bad news situation. As it turns out, the reason he couldn't feel the dog breaking his toe uh, into bits is because Lindsay has diabetes, which he knew oh. he did. He knew he had diabetes and, and he had you know limited feeling in his legs, but he did not know that he had two blocked arteries in his legs. And when he went to the hospital, the doctors found out and this dog actually saved his life. Cause he That's was awesome. going to die. He Whoa. was going to die soon from blocked arteries in his legs. And this dog oh. gnawed through his, his shit, got him in the hospital. They found the arteries, they unclogged him, or whatever. They figured it out. He's, he's not going to die from that anymore. Oh, that's amazing. Incredible. Did the puppy know? Probably not, but maybe who knows? Uh, it's a great mm. story either way. Although the bad news is, uh, Lindsay got a serious infection from the dog muck banging his toe, and he's been in the hospital for 10 days dealing with a severe infection. So that's going to be a couple a, couple, I mean, couple more weeks to months of recovery. A small but, price to pay for yeah, staying true. alive. Which one's yeah, worse? Lindsay, serious got, infection or blocked arteries? Yeah. He's, he's got a series of problems to work through, I think, yeah. at the hospital. But once he's through that and the puppy uh, loses the taste for human blood, he'll be back on the right track. You know? I think you're right. Well, but can you imagine the conversation a, a doctor has with this guy when he's like, okay, Lindsay, we got to, well, you're in here because your dog chewed through your leg and you didn't feel it. We got to, we got to, we have to change a few things here. Yeah. Right. It takes, it takes well, a dog chewing through your <laughs> toe to get you in here. Yeah. yeah. It's, like, it's, it's really like a go- condescending conversation. <laughs> it's a Goldberg doctor. moment. Really. Yeah. It's yes. like seeing your, your meth mm-hmm. shot go viral. Yeah. That's a good point. All right. Uh, good story, though. He's saved. Let's leave Wales and head to South Korea, where a mayor is getting ridiculed for his recent action. Um, and and re- and really, the guy was just trying to help out uh, the guy being Lee Dong Jin, the mayor of Jindo County in uh, Jindo, which is an island, the third biggest island, in South Korea, beautiful island. Mm-hmm. Uh, so mayor of a cool island, pretty sweet. And the people he was trying to help out were volunteer c- cleanup crews. OK, OK. okay pretty good so far yeah, yeah. um and and lee dong must be a huge batman fan and, and it's probably probably a huge joker fan as well because he lives by the joker's philosophy of if there is no crime there is no batman and if there is no batman there is no joker doing crimes no point for either you follow yeah tell me so you need mm. it's yin and yang you have to have right. crime you need the light to the have dark, a crime the dark for the light they both exist crime because of each other mm-hmm. and so if you have a cleanup crew and no trash what are you to do but haul in tons and tons of trash and dump go. them on your gorgeous beaches for them to then clean up? Uh, which well, is exactly uh, what he did. Okay. The mayor of the mayor of Jindo County hauled in thousands and thousands of pounds of trash and just dumped it on the on the on the uh, beaches and, and sent out an emergency email. And it's like, oh, my God, come quick. There's so much trash on the beach. It's horrible. The, tur- the turtles, the turtles. Um, and, and so uh, that's what he did. He, he had 600 volunteer cleanup crew and not a lot of trash in Jindo County, which is clean. So he, he trashed up the beaches for them to stay busy. Weird. I'm so confused. Yeah. Why do you do that? The guy's a well, psycho. Because he likes Batman. He wanted uh, to look cool. Like he wanted to look like he was doing something. No, I think he probably like he brags about how much trash they clean up off the beach with this program. Mm-hmm. And he just needed more numbers for his trash program. So he was like, you know what? I got to yeah. up these numbers. I got to dump the trash. Myself. Will's, Will's We're not littering good. enough. Will's pretty close to right on it. So the insane act was a part of International Coastal Cleanup Day. Um, and it didn't go over well. His, his actions did not go over well in Juneau County. The mayor wanted to participate in Coastal Cleanup Day as 100 other countries did, and he wanted South Korea to represent as well. And there wasn't a lot of trash, so he had to trash up the place so he could get they images of them. Enough trash. So he could get images of them cleaning up and participating <laughs> in International Coastal Cleanup Day. Uh, okay. It happens to be the third largest island in South Korea. It's right next to this, one of the nicest Shouldn't like, be sanctuaries for yeah, animals there. It's a right. bigger like, bragging point, Will, right? Yeah, yeah, not just, have just trash. post a picture of your beautiful trashless yeah. beach and be like, oh, don't need to clean up ours. How clean Jindo is. Yeah, yeah well, like, 
then you couldn't participate in international coastal clean. Yeah, but that's a, such a bigger flex. Well, maybe there's a kickback or two. I don't know. And as it turns out, mm -hmm. not only were we on a plane to get to South Korea, but we were also in a time machine because International Coastal Cleanup Day is on September 21st. And this actually happened back in 2019. And for whatever reason, is making its way back in some some places we source our news from or look for news stories from. I picked it. I really liked it. I found out this out about halfway through writing it. And then that's I said, you know what? Story. No harm, no foul. If I just tell them it's 2019 at the end, it's a blast from the past, if you will. What yeah. do the kids call it? Throwback Thursday for you on a Ooh, Thursday. Right. How about that? Right. Eh? Hmm? Uh, oh, also, it goes without saying, uh, but Lee Dong Jin is no longer the mayor of Jindo County. <laughs> Fast forward to the next election. He didn't make it. Uh, yeah, that's that's when kid. that comes out. Yeah. Yeah. Of Island. What they, they voted him out. And now Kim Hee Su, who looks like a. Uh, uh, Eric and Wes asked AI to show you an extremely Asian news anchor in front of an island green screen <laughs> is the mayor. Yeah. Hmm. That is a very Asian man. <laughs> he is. There so is. Dude, yeah. his beaches are the cleanest. Oh, that yeah. He's, <laughs> he's, I mean, dude, he, he just that has guy to... would beat your ass with like a fucking stick if he saw you litter on a beach. He ran like... on a campaign promising not to do what the last guy did. He just has to purposely not dump tons of trash on the island's beautiful beaches and his legacy will be better than the last guy. Pretty low bar. Just don't murder anyone, right? Mm -hmm. Have a Sprite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pretty easy Great to job. beat. Stop murdering what was, people. What, what was the first guy's name? <laughs> Lee Dong? Uh, Lee, Lee Dong. Dong gone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pretty easy to beat Lee Dong as the, ne yeah. as the next mayor. Yeah. And he really had he had it all figured out. Mayor of an island, and he no fucked one, it up. No one, no one said this is a bad idea, Lee Dong. <laughs> what kind of stuff do you think you get into if you're a mayor of an island? I mean, I mean, whatever you want. Apparently, against. apparently, yeah. whatever the fuck you want, you can pollute beaches and shit. And just people drive around in a jeep all day. People say <laughs> yes to it. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. What an idiot. I'm, I'm <laughs> mad. I'm mad for him. Yeah. You know. Poopy Butt says uh, in the live comments, recycling a trash story. Nice. nice. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. Great. Great. Um, all right, guys, let's um, I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to I'm going to end on the, the New Zealand story. Um, but uh, we need to give a round of applause to Florida um, uh, today uh, for passing a new law that is going to allow the death penalty for pedophiles so. oh yeah dude. Oh, oh damn oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just for oh. i mean just just for dealing kids i mean <clears throat> it is yeah. pretty much the worst crime that's the way you stop murder. it that's the so, way you fucking stop it dude exactly DeSantis, that's how you stop baby it. this is this might take him all the way to the white house so this um, is this is what he was doing he's he's making some moves making some announcements before he this is how he's president. getting back disney world because half their employees now I, I won't say it i won't finish that joke <laughs> You're right, Mark. You're right. A lot of them, a lot of them from the stings back. are employees at that yeah. establishment. Um, at least a few every every yeah. time. So this is from the New York Post article. This is a late ad, so I just kind of copied the article for by Salim Algar. The bipartisan proposal backed by Ron DeSantis passed by a vote of 34 to 5 late Tuesday will also allow juries to hand down death sentences by votes of at least 8 to 4 after previously requiring a unanimous vote. So, and this happened because, remember that piece of shit Nicholas Cruz or the Parkland shooter? Yeah. So the jury in that case, he was up for the death penalty, but one juror said, I don't want to give him the death penalty, so they spared him his life. Instead, he got he got life in prison. While well, everyone thought he should get the death penalty because he killed all those fucking people, and he should have. Um, right. So DeSantis was like, next time this happens, it's fuck that. Um, so now he made it eight to four. So if that if that trial would happen today, he was toast. So now Damn, eight to four, eight to Ooh. four. Yeah. Even next if there's step, four. Ne yeah. Next step is, is just if you're guilty. Slight majority. Yeah. yeah, yeah they just kill yeah. you on the street. One guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is this is We're basically send the marshal out there. <laughs> yeah. He'll deal with him. So We're the pedophile the bill family decide. Yeah, the pedophile bill it passes thumbs Florida up House. Or thumbs down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's pretty pretty cool. Um, so it passed the House by 95, uh, 95 14 last week, and DeSantis is expected to sign it. And this would apply to those convicted of abusing a child under the age of twelve. So DeSantis right. said, "Quote: right. My yeah, view yeah. is, you have some of these people 
that will be serial rapists of six, seven year olds. I right. think the death penalty is the only appropriate punishment when you have a situation like that. And I agree. Um, you don't want to kill someone that's like 28 fucking like a 16 year old. You don't want to put them to death. 12 and under. Uh, yeah. 12 and under makes sense. That's really young. I yes, told, yeah. absolutely. You can't you can't even. I mean, you can't even mistake a 12 year old for like an 18 year old. Yeah. Like that's that's a that's a fetish you have. That's like a, it's, it's prepubescent. Like, right. It's pre it's prepubescent, which is um, yeah. that's a yeah. that's a that's a bad thing. We're just going to start fucking killing pedophiles and I'm all for it. Um, so the bill. All, the, so, pedos. Yeah, I mean, let's see. The let's see how it does. To get, the first pedo to get executed in oh, Florida. That's going to be, gonna be huge a news. scene. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be yeah. huge news. That's um, a party. <laughs> whoa, <laughs> dude. I mean, if some fucking look, look, like so, the guy, the guy, the pedophile. By the way, the guy that's across the street from me, the pedophile. I, I, I got so mad because I was drive. I went to get some food and I was driving back and he's walking because he didn't have a fucking car because he's a piece of shit. And he's got two Dr. Peppers and he's wearing a tank top. And I find I found it offensive. that This pedophile <laughs> is walking around in a tank top like I don't think pedophiles should be allowed to wear tank tops. Is that crazy? Like, you I just think, don't want to. You just don't want to walk. Anything he does is going to. You think he should be showing yeah. off his, yeah. his body to? to yeah, he's showing off his tattoos. Looking how cool he is. Like, I don't think he should be oh, walking. Period. Yeah. If you know what I mean. With, he's like right around the bus stop. He was, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's and he's got his like sleeveless shirt on. I don't know. He's I like drove, handing out nuts. cigs. Like, hey kid, you want a cig? Tank hey, top. Want, I'd tank like top. to drive a tank over top of him. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, um, but this so the bill that is going to be signed into law by DeSantis, there is a Supreme Court precedent in 2008. The Supreme Court ruled five to four in Kennedy versus Louisiana that the death penalty could not be levied against child rapists or anyone who committed a crime in which the victim did not die. So Florida's going against that. DeSantis said, hey, we got a conservative majority in the Supreme Court. Maybe they should take another look at that fucking law. And so he's, uh, you know, he's kind of lobbying to for the Supreme Court to just overturn that decision to where um, if even if the person, even if the kid doesn't die, he's just traumatized for life and has to go to therapy nine, nine times a week that, um, you know, he should. Uh, the person that did that to them should still die. And I agree. Hmm. It'll so. be interesting to see what happens in the in the higher court, because it'll definitely go up there. The yeah. first case will, will definitely oh, yeah. get taken to the Supreme Court. A so. thousand percent. I mean, if you're yeah. looking for. For us to argue for, no, I'm not. Diddlers of prepubescent kids. I don't think you're going to find. No, no I think we always sound this show that we do. It. They got to yeah. crack down on pedos. Well, this is what so. we've been asking for. F- yeah, forever is the death penalty for pedophiles. I think. Yeah. I mean, I don't know yeah. if I was. That's what exactly what I was asking for. Right. But I mean, hey, they're cracking way down harsh, in some way. Way they're harsher, crack- like hey, public, yeah. public uh, castration. Not what they like- do in California, where they just let them go after a year. Um, yeah, anyway. I mean, dude, it is way too light in a lot of states. Hundred percent, insanely light. Yeah. It's insulting. Um, okay, so that's that Florida news. Good for Florida. Um, you know, Ron DeSantis, good thing. All right, let's move to New Zealand. I think we already know the people of New Zealand are very fat, right? We've covered that. Um, well, but it, but again, buy your shirts if you're if you're a hefty dude. Listen, like I'd like to think that we would be welcomed shirts. as brothers with open arms. We'd yeah, rub this is a fat, loving statement. We'd we're, rub we're our like fat New noses we're like together. New yeah, yeah. Mahalo. Our, yeah. But they don't Ancestry. Say that. Dot com should say that we're half New Zealand or something. Yeah, like half, feast uh, into the night with them, you know, no yeah. problem. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. They do these underground pork roasts. Yeah. Delicious. Oh, yeah, yeah, I bet. Delicious. Yeah. I know. Yeah. And Will, I was going to ask you, I didn't know th- uh, this about the people of New Zealand. I knew they were fat and obese, but I didn't know that they um, they have a huge problem with cats. And Will, what? when you were there, why was there a cat problem in New Zealand, the f- oh, uh, specifically oh, like feral a lot cats. Of cats. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't remember. I don't recall there being a cat problem. Yeah, I was on the south end of the North Island. Who um, likes birds? Cats are way cooler. I don't People recall. Don't recall that. Birds. Yeah, birds That's are stupid. Problem. Yeah. So the problem is, is that um, New Zealand is plagued by feral cats. It's estimated that there are 1.2 million domestic cats, and more than double that feral cats in New Zealand. And they, they they say that they're responsible for the feral cats are responsible for as many as 1.1 million native bird deaths every year, as well as uh, protected geckos and and other like little oh, varmints. Not the geckos. And shit. Yeah, I know. Damn. I know. So those but, cats but, are really fucking shit up. They're oh, the cats are up. hunting like cats do. Yeah. 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 I mean, they do. I think they kill uh, more animals per animal than like any other animal cat. Yeah, we're lucky they're not bigger. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's a video to yeah. tell you a little bit more about the fertile cat problem in New Zealand. 
Came by News Hub show, a senior doc scientist is asking why the department isn't doing more to control one of New Zealand's worst ecological problems, cats. Mm. They also show the frustration over a lack of leadership on the issue. Isabel Ewing has more. IKEA makes light work of a cardboard box or a tramping pack, but it doesn't stand a chance against a cat. We've got a very large carnivore species that we're at the moment not addressing you know, in a coordinated way. These images show a cat lurking at a Kia nest, a threat well known to Doc's top scientists, not only for eating birds, but also for the parasite in its poo, which Doc identifies as a key threat to Maui's and Hector's dolphins. That's because toxoplasmosis washes out to the sea. Rare species ah. threatened by cats include hoihor, pateke, brown kiwi, kia, oyster catchers and various skinks and geckos. Doc's veteran scientist adds, I Doc think the cat that's is a sufficient that. list to justify spending some resources and for Doc to take a lead on this. And then there's the political hot potato of pet moggies. Gareth Morgan famously launched the campaign to wipe out cats a decade ago. In the case of an unknown cat, they should be just like a dog would be. His daughter Jessie says the dialogue has matured Jessie. since then. But it's not a controversial thing anymore. Um, and I think we just need to recognise that, it's, um, that New Zealand is ready for the conversation. In the emails obtained by News Hub, veteran doc science advisor Graham Taylor says there are lots of pockets within doc trying to tackle cats, but because they're not included in Predator Free 2050, they lack the political clout. Translation, no one wants to touch New Zealanders' precious cats. That's right. So... Don't you, lay so, a hand, don't you lay a hand on them. But no, what's hilarious, though, is cats are literally going to destroy New Zealand. Because New Zealand, yeah. uh, the reason they have so many flightless birds is because they were like an island where snakes somehow never arrived. And snakes are the reason that birds fly and live up in trees and everywhere else. So cats because now. cats now exist, they are going to destroy New Zealand. They will destroy flightless all the small birds, birds all the small a. animals in New Zealand. Oh, that is yeah. a buff A. Yeah. There's no snakes on That's Hawaii either, which is insane. Um, Honestly, like if I was New Zealand, I would get rid of the cats because it's going to get rid of because they're going to yeah. make all those things extinct. They I'll are. Take, but I'll take quickly. them. I'll take all a million of them quickly. Um, well, guys, the government isn't um, stepping up enough and the people of New Zealand have taken things in their own hands. Um, organized hunts with prizes, kind of like they oh. do for pythons in Florida are a regular occurrence. Gross. Now. Fundraisers for schools are lumped into cat hunting, just like the one that is being organized by the <laughs> Rotherham this, School. Like, the, What's mm -hmm. that book the, with the kids that were there? They're, they're on the island. The Lord of the Flies. Lord of the Lord Flies, of the flies yeah. out there. Yeah, yeah, they're hunting yeah cats. It's crazy. So um, the Rotherham School, in association with the North Canterbury Hunting Competition, which holds the hunt every year, also included in the hunt cat. are other problem animals like wild pigs, deer, and rabbit. But this year, they decided to ramp it up a bit. In previous years, only adults were eligible to enter the competition and take home the prize money for killing the most cats from April to June. But this year, they added a special children's category for children yeah. 14 and under with sure. a prize for 230 sure. bucks for the kid that could kill the most cats in two months. Surely that won't fuck Ooh. up a child killing a bunch of cats. How yeah. many cats did the kid get? Well, it's it just it just got underway. This is so. serial tr killer training. Yeah. So I mean, it's, these are feral cats, Mark. They're not like. They don't. Nobody owns these cats. We looked at. I know, but we looked at the video. They're cute. They're not like. They don't look like Goldberg when he's down and out in the middle picture. They're still cute. Yeah, but a deer's cute. Of course, you uh, eat the deer. But so you is a rat. You're not, gonna, you're not gonna eat the cat. No, no. you just like discard its body. The deer's gonna cat. chuck it at a dumpster. Deer's not as cute, and they, they don't have can. competitions for could kids <laughs> slaughtering. Can they sell the deer. cats to China? They could. They're pretty close. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, of course, the organizers were careful to tell the kids not to kill anyone's pets. But it's two hundred thirty yeah, bucks gonna... on the line. A cat yeah, is a cat, no, man. right? Yeah, I mean, cat, cat, if I'm cat, if I'm cat. one cat short, I gotta they're, tell you, they're just they're just scrambling to take off like collars. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you gotta lock your cat oh, up shit. now. You yeah. have to yeah. on that one. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta lock your cat up if you live in New Zealand. Uh, right? No, exactly. Jingles was feral. Yeah, exactly. Of course, <laughs> this whole hunt was met with backlash from cat lovers in the New Zealand SPCA, who claimed that children as well as adults will not be able to tell the difference between a feral, stray, or a frightened, domesticated cat. 
An organizer said that vile and inappropriate emails had been sent to the school and others involved. Things like we should be teaching our tamariki, which translates to fat children, in yeah. empathy um, towards uh, animals, not um, handing them tools yeah. to kill them. Fuck um, those fat fucks. They're going to have a back. You see, obviously, don't don't um, fuck with cats. That, they're going to yeah. get a backlash from the other. You want to see some photos of the yeah. of the of the hunt so far? No. Yeah. Look at dead cats. It's pretty cool. Oh, no. <laughs> there's, uh, there's one. There's another. You did the AI with that kid. Yeah, yeah. Fat, fat kid hunting fat a kid cat. Hunting a cat. <laughs> Eric did it for me. Because luckily, luckily the backlash was enough, and they decided uh, that four, uh, 11 year olds running around killing cats was a bad idea. So they nixed the child. Um, uh, you know, program this year. That one family's so upset about it. Oh, they're gonna daddy, try again. Daddy, daddy, people were so upset. Next year, they're gonna try again. Next, next year, yeah. 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 People were very upset. Um, so they decided to, you know, withdraw because they were they were getting a lot of backlash and, and they were worried that you know probably some p- people's pets were gonna be killed by some eleven year old with the fucking probably gun. Most but two hundred thirty um, bucks is like a million bucks for a twelve year old. <coughs> oh, how much candy a fat Maori kid could buy with two hundred thirty bucks? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Loads, uh, heaps of candy, worth. mate. Heaps, yeah. heaps, and heaps of candy. Yeah. Um, Two days worth. Hey, Wes. Um, mm-hmm. uh, just since you were on the subject, New Zealand mm-hmm. and everything, and uh, we got down under Dick, listener down in Australia, mm-hmm. and he's always sending in some good New Zealand content. He sent me this, and he said that this kid would be your worst nightmare. And uh, what's that? I think we may have watched it before. But, uh, Where are you from, bro? Tauranga. To- oh, shout out to Tauranga. <laughs> you hard hardcore warriors, bro? Yeah. Bro, what's that? Uh, what's that name? The the winger's name. What's his name, bro? What's that? Huh? The the winger. I don't know. I don't know either, bro. He's about Holy to break out a hacker. <laughs> Who cares, though? Eh? You run it straight, eh? Bro? Yeah. You play today? Nah. Play yesterday? Nah. When are you playing <laughs> next? Next week. Against who? Ah, uh, I don't know. Whoever wants it, eh? Yo. Tell them in the camera, bro. Whoever wants it, I'm running straight. Jet. Yeah. I'm running straight, bro. It's <laughs> a very <laughs> obese <laughs> child. Shit. Why not? That's Wearing the best rugby thing. Jersey? No, I might get the hiding, eh? Hey, that's, a good, that's a good point. That's a good point. I need to learn that, eh? Yeah. All right. Kakite, brother. Teach yeah, teach me, bro. Yeah, just don't say anything in your mouth. Um, consider me taught. Yeah. All right, bro. Enjoy the game, my <laughs> hey, Blow it up. Blow it up. <laughs> it's almost like a skit, the way they talk. Yeah. <laughs> Wes, do you think you could fit in down there? I mean, we're all hefty. I think. Yeah, I think we'd have a great know. time in New Zealand. I think yeah. we would. I, would I think Wes, we I, need I would to have get... a problem when the conversation started to cheering on the uh, cat hunting. I would get mm, that. That'd yeah. be tough. Well, yeah, me. you just Mark, you'd have to. Oh, leave. this is Once the part of the pork roast. Drunk, this is right? the part of the pork roast where everyone's cheering, talking about how many cats they killed. But in I the past think season. that, like, so Wes, two two places he despises: San Francisco. And then uh, New Zealand. I don't despise New Zealand. I think if you Zealand. actually went to both, you would actually no, like no. love I don't it. Des- I don't despise love New it. Zealand. I just enjoy Dude. making fun of how fat they are. That's all. I despise New Zealand, though. I don't like New San Francisco. I think, oh, okay. Well, Wes, you still need to go to San Francisco because you actually, I think you'd like it. I'm sure I would, but not anytime soon. I got a lot of places above San Francisco on my list to go. <laughs> Um, but that's we, it. I'm you saying guys... for content, we need to for content around the city. Yeah. You get a Wes, get a, a bingo San Francisco bingo board, mm-hmm. and you got to go around San Francisco, find like center squares, homeless guy pooping. You got shoplifting. You that's got easy. like yeah, you just find different things like stab guy getting stabbed or ha- mm-hmm. car getting broken into stuff like that. Od Cyc- Od cyclist freaking out. Cyclist mm-hmm. freaking out on someone like on a bicycle. Like you have, you have to have a bingo card and, and try to get like a scavenger hunt bingo thing. Yeah. Okay. I like it. Oh, who who is the high five? Did you did you check Wes? I did not check. Do you guys uh, did know? you did you do Monday's coffee? Monday mornings, Sunday nights coffee? Will I think maybe I don't know. One of us got coffee. One of us got high five. So it's either me or you. I think it's me. I think. Yeah. I'm gonna look real quick. Uh, um, how are you gonna do that? I'm gonna I'm gonna look. Go on YouTube. Just go on YouTube. I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna go to. You gotta uh, go to the highlights channel. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search hard factor, and I'm already subscribed, but I'm gonna hit the bell and make sure that I'm notified. Okay, nice. all I'm gonna, I'm gonna, which I wasn't even, but I'm now, I am now. Um, and then I'll look at last Friday's episode. So, um, if it's, if it's, if it's, uh, either, whoever it is, we have some voicemails. It looks like we have to get to based on the Discord. Oh, shit. Yeah. You got to check Hard Factor highlights. Highlights. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. There was some, uh, I was going to spam. A few people, we know one person at least. 
uh, spam is, uh, but I'll look if it's me. I'll look through and see if play your most. I recent unspam one. that person, so it shouldn't. And I and I brought the, their most recent voicemail into. How do you think you pronounce his name, Xavier, Xavier? or Javier? Yeah. Xavier. Xavier. Okay. Uh, but but you're right because what's the la the la it might be Javier. It might be Javier. No, but that's yeah. a J. Well, well, we'll find out when we finally listen to his voicemails that have been in spam. Right. right. But X. I think it's Xavier or or Javier. One of the two. Thanks, Will. <laughs> one of the two. Looking it up. Could be one of those two. <laughs> it's one of the two. Yeah. yeah it's, it's right. Javier. I think you're right. <laughs> He's multitasking. Mm. Um. All right. Okay, we'll here, it right. okay here, here it is. Okay, here it is. Here it is. He's right fast now. forwarding to the end. Here it is, is right now. First wheel spin was not. It wasn't. It's the second spin the that second we're looking spin, for. Because I took myself off. Yeah, so it's the second spin. Oh, so I did coffee. Yeah, so it's me. I'm high five. Yeah. All right. Pretty sure it's going to be me. I don't think it was you again. I don't, unless it's Pat. I don't think it's me. All right. I'm so, about to find out right now. Oh, here we go. I'm about this to get to listen. Riveting. To Mark. Mark's high five. Yeah. Mark's yeah. high five. Mark's high five. Okay. Who's, so, Mark's who's high five. still listening? All right. I'm, I'm, Mark's I'm high five. I got you, Xavier yeah. Javier. Who will be on? Send Mark your stuff. Yep. Bop. Boop. Beep. Bop. 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 That's coffee. That's coffee. I love how the wheel just let me do 420 and then let me bounce. Yeah. It's nice. Thanks, Will. That was nice of the wheel. Yeah. Thanks, Will. Will's going to be pretty stoned. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <for> the... <laughs> uh, well, that's it for the show. Uh, thank you for joining us. Remember uh, to hit the bell, ring the bell, um, and uh, most importantly, have a great fucking day. <laughs>